That's all right, man. That's, uh, That's our funnest song to play on stage. We just have to so do it on TV fun. for you. What do you do now that, that you've, you've started to establish your real identity? You know, you've had a couple of kicks at, at introducing people to who you are, but at this stage, your fans know who you are. Do you feel the need that you have to change or grow, or how do you do that? Well, I feel like we have a responsibility to all the kids in Toronto that grew up doing hip hop, grew up going to shows, and we want to keep the shows interesting. So we like keeping stuff hard, we like keeping stuff epic. Yeah. We like keeping it poppy. Where did that come from? Where did you first hear that? Um, like, who spoke to you? Like, when you first, first saw a band and went, that's, they seem to get this. Well, I know for me, it was Aerosmith. My first concert, I went to see Aerosmith. And Steven Tyler was doing backflips across the stage when he was, like, 56 years old. And I was like, and now anytime I get tired, I'm like, I don't know if I can do it tonight. I'm just like, Pat, don't wimp out. Steve Tyler would have gone up there and done it. You know? <laughs> Bucky, do you backflips on stage? Could you do that? I'm working on it. He's yeah, working I've been working on it too, you know? <laughs> nice. Right, thanks for doing this, guys. It's great to see you, as always. All right, down with Webster, everybody. Thanks for watching today. We really appreciate it. There's lots more on Strombo.com. Good things, Canada. Mm -hmm.